Welcome back to another update video of the Centennial Corridor Project here in Bakersfield, California. And this video release is on December 23rd. So I would like to wish all of you a great big Merry Christmas from us here at The Heightened Perspective. And this is part 16 in the Centennial Corridor video series, which started over a year ago, documenting this transformational project. And we're looking from a different perspective this time, currently alongside Highway 58, on the north side, looking toward the east, and now scanning over toward the west. But real quick, I want to apologize for not making more update videos, and for taking so long to get this one published. Times have been tough on all of us lately, so a lot of my attention has been on trying to make a living, which is why I would like to ask each of you for your support so that we can continue making more and more of these videos and more often. We are also adding the high speed rail updates and other projects into our schedule, so please be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow along as we observe some of the changes taking place in the world around us. And there's been an extreme amount of progress on this project, which is why I highly recommend going back through all of the previous videos on this playlist. And here we are heading toward the west alongside Highway 58 as it merges into the Highway 99 interchange. You can see the southbound Highway 99 heading left on your screen while the northbound lanes are moving towards the right. Well, let's take a look around this area and see some of the improvements and changes that have taken place. You can see the circular ramp that merges the westbound 58 into the 99 southbound and the Kaiser Permanente Hospital just above that. And Stockdale Highway is the main road you see going up on the right side of the screen. The two diesel trucks going from right to left are going from the southbound 99 heading over to the 58 eastbound. Well, let's zoom in a bit here and get a better view. Now we have to change locations due to range restrictions. So now we are on the west side of the Highway 99 and 58 interchange, looking back toward the east. But look at all the columns that have been added, and these will help support an aerial merge lane going from the 99 northbound, connecting to the Centennial Corridor and heading out to the west side parkway. But let's take a moment, look around here in this area. Again, you see the circular merge lane, which connects Highway 58 westbound to the 99 southbound. And a lot of changes taking place there on Weibel Road, which is running along the east side of Highway 99. And again, I'd like to ask you to please help support The Heightened Perspective and send tips and donations to www.paypal.me slash The Heightened Perspect. And now as we're facing north from the west side of Highway 99, shifting our view toward the west and looking at the overpass lanes that go over real road there on the south side of Stockdale Highway. And now we're crossing over real road. And now coming up to where Stein Road and Stockdale Highway intersect. You can see the overpass columns are already in place. Let's zoom in there for a better view. It's 
It's really going to be interesting to watch as this section continues to develop. And now crossing over Stockdale Highway, and this next overpass piece goes right over Ford Avenue. And then here we are with another shift in perspective as we had to move our location again to reach this next segment. So looking back toward the south at the overpass that goes over Ford Avenue. And it's kind of crazy because my dad actually grew up in uh, just a few houses away at the corner of Ford and Candy where my grandparents lived for decades. I'd spent a lot of time in this neighborhood as a child so it's pretty cool to watch as it all transforms. But moving along, we see a lot of activity in this segment where La Mirada has now been completed and is again a functioning road. Now heading toward the north, Morella has been taken out and a new overpass will be built to go over the corridor. And unfortunately, in this segment, my battery ran out on my drone, which is another reason I had to do this video in multiple segments. So you'll see a little change coming up here. So there was the edit line where I had to come out again and piece together another segment. And you can tell how the weather and sky is a little bit different. But let's head north and get a good look at the overpass at California Avenue. And here we see both the north and southbound overpasses being built. Now this next piece absolutely blew my mind when I was filming. I can't believe how much progress has been made here. But look at those columns that have been placed in the canal and the overpass which is already constructed over Commerce Drive. It's just amazing to me how every time I come out to film there is so much progress to see. And I understand that from our daily view at ground level for a lot of us, it feels like absolute chaos. And it seems like the project is taking forever and will never be completed. But when we remove ourselves from that low level view and observe from a heightened perspective, we can really see the underlying progression that is taking place. And ultimately, this corridor will be a main connector that not only connects 58 and 99 to the west side of Bakersfield, but will also be a main artery bringing a faster and smoother connection between Interstate 5 and Interstate 40 heading out to the east. So let's bring it back here and get another look around. As we get another view here looking at California Avenue and I just want to ask one last time to please send tips and donations by going to www.paypal.me slash the heightened perspec. We really enjoy doing these videos and we hope that we can do more and more of them more often if the time and resources allow us. Until then, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas a happy new year and may 2021 be a rewarding year of progression and improvements for us all. I hope all of you are making the best of the holiday season and we want to thank you for watching our videos and for the continued support. And again, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. And I am Dylan with the Heightened Perspective.